Let's stay on the matters of elections and coming up next on your election command center, the new development in the camp of the NDC in the Memphis Central constituency. How will this development shape the fortunes of the party in the constituency? We're going to show you shortly here on your election command center. It's a lot that's happening right now and we're keeping an eye on quite, quite closely what things are playing out. But it appears the chips are falling in the right places, really, for the NDC in the Memphis Central Constituency as the incumbent member of parliament, Peter Kwachiaka, who had filed his nomination to contest as an independent candidate in the 2024 elections, has decided to withdraw his bid. Well, the NDC Deputy General Secretary, Mustafa Gbande, hailed the move as a positive step for the party, attributing it to the concerted efforts of the party's leadership in Parliament to talk him out of this. Take a look. And him, very commendable that it's been what the party have always tried to prevail on. But as human beings, each and every one has how they conceive and receive issues and process them. And so given his own timing, he's decided to bar out. He's welcome back into the party. We respect him as such, as a sitting outgoing member of Parliament. And on this note, I think that let me commend Honorable Atu Forsen and his team, all individuals who have been involved to ensure that he actually get to understand the implication of his action and to have accepted to, to step down. I believe that that would be a further step to his commitment. After stepping down, it will be required that we will all go together and campaign. Beyond that, I don't think that will be a commitment, but we want to see him join to campaign for His Excellency President Mahama and also try to campaign for the parliamentary candidate, which is a standard that the party have set. So given the next few days, uh, I, I foresee that development where Honorable Kwachaka will join back the Brotherhood and then join his uh, brothers in parliament for them to do the, the campaign. Well, so there you have it now, uh, and, and this particular development changes the dynamics, in fact, for the analysis that we've been doing in the, uh, the Memphis Central Constituency ahead of Election Day, December 7. What we had indicated earlier was that if Peter Kwachaka had stuck to his decision of contesting as an independent candidate because the notice of poll that has been published by the Electoral Commission in that constituency indeed captures him as an independent candidate. And remember, he is one of four MPs in the eye of the storm and what is happening in parliament and that's led to the continuous adjournment definitely of parliament and the matters at the supreme court as well and how things are playing out he's one of the four mps but he's on the ticket of the ndc the incumbent mp in the memphis central constituency now according to the ndc deputy general as you heard him he has decided that he is not going to contest even though there's been a notice of poll, and we'll put a notice of poll on the screen right now the notice of poll captured as published by the electoral commission put in that constituency does have him as an independent candidate. That's going to be on the screen right now. In fact, he has a symbol as a lantern there. You'll see it. And then also you have another NDC member, we understand, Carl McAhin, um, as well. From the information we're picking, these two persons have taken on that path of not contesting. What essentially this means is that Albert Redu Akon of the NPP and Joanna Jan Kujo, of the NDC are the ones who are going into this December 7 parliamentary election. So we're going to wait for that official communication as well from Karl Markahin as well. And as we wait for that, as far as we do know, this was the, uh, the notice of poll published by the Electoral Commission in that constituency. But as things stand now, Peter Kwachiaka, the incumbent MP, uh, has decided that he is not going to contest, according to the Deputy General Secretary of the NDC, Mustafa Gbande. In fact, we're just getting information as well right now that Dr. Karl McAhin has also officially communicated that he is not going to contest. That was announced by the party chairman as well, Johnson Esiedon Ketia. And, and so you see it there. So that essentially leaves two candidates, the MPP and the NDC, in the Amenfi Central constituency. That's how things look like right now um, in there. So this man, Peter Kwachiaka, is one that, based on the trends and analysis, we did conclude prior to today 
that he was going to really prove a, a strong metal for, for the NDC. And for that matter, the NDC itself, they were aware of the, the threat that Peter Kwachiaka poses to their chances in that constituency because he has a very rich history and impact in that constituency. In 2004, Peter Kwachiaka contested as an NPP candidate in the same Amefi Central constituency. He did not do badly at all. In fact, the margin of victory between him and that of the N N NDC candidate who won when he contested as an NPP candidate was just a little over a thousand votes. That's the man we're talking about. In 2012, in fact, in 2008, he contested as an independent candidate. 2012, he did not contest. 2016, he showed up again. He won this constituency on the ticket of the NDC, retained it for the party in the year 2020 as well. Then they went to the primaries and then he lost. He served as a DC for the area as well at some point. So this is a man that knows the constituency like the back of his palm. But look at this. This is the trend and the timelines that we have seen. In April 2023, the NDC held a, uh, the primaries, the first primaries. Then it was a matter of a court injunction now because Joanna Jankujo, although won that particular primaries, the incumbent disagreed with the verdict. You had some five persons within the constituency taking up the matter to the second day high court, eventually injuncted Joanna Jankujo from holding herself as a parliamentary candidate for the NDC. Fast forward to September 2024, the NDC took a decision to annul that May 2023 primaries. They ordered for fresh elections to elect a candidate. Peter Kwachaka at the last minute pulled out of the race to, and decided to go independent, raising questions about some unfairness that was meted out to him by the party in the constituency. Jonah Jankujo was eventually confirmed as the parliamentary candidate. And then we saw and just last month the disqualification notice by the Electoral Commission and the NDC set aside that particular injunction against Joanna Jankujo just last week. We got that information. It was, fact of, it was on November 7 that the NDC secured that uh, decision by the courts. And then eventually today, Peter Kwachaka has taken the decision that he is not going to contest. How does this look like for the NDC? Take a look at this. In 2020, Peter Kwachaka contested on the ticket of the NDC again. He won that constituency with over 26,100 votes. That's in nominal terms. The MPP, 21,924. The MPP candidate, that is Patrick Hoxon and Ponting, is not contesting. In fact, the MPP has a new candidate, Albert Reduakon, going into this election. The NDC also has a new candidate in the name of Joanna Jankojo as well, going into this election. But in the 2020 election, this is how it looked like. There was a 4,174 difference. And guess what? This has been a place for the NDC to go to bed. They can actually win the, this, at least this particular constituency based on the trends and analysis. I keep saying to you that, yes, the trends will tell a story, but they are always outliers. History is not linear. But this is one that if you look right from the inception and the creation of this constituency, the NDC has won both the parliamentary and the presidential over the period. We will see how things look like going into this election December 7, taking into consideration that both MPP and the NDC have now fielded new candidates. The incumbent has lost. The NPP has changed their candidate. Will the dynamics continue in the trends that we have seen? It's a question that we're going to be seeking answers to on December 7 here on your election command center. But stay with us here on Ghana tonight.